All right. So it is a Saturday night, or is it Sunday, depending on your viewpoint, it could be either or, but uh, yeah, Streets of Rage 4, yo, what up, oh my god, hold on, Buster, what's up, is this live, what game is this, <laughs> what are you playing as, is this live? He's an NPC, much like someone we know, but I won't say who it is. Yeah, so, uh, Buster. So I had received, uh, I'm sure you saw in the chat, in Discord, I put a picture of the email that YouTube sent me. So it, it came to my attention. Apparently, well, not apparently, it's a, it's a fact. In the level with the art gallery, there actually is a butt plug <laughs> in the game. So the butt plug was in the background, and it was made as a jab for this. Apparently in England, I think in London or something, there was a butt plug that was placed in this public uh, square, like this town near City Hall or whatever it was, and it caused a big uproar. So I guess the developers decided to throw that in as an Easter egg, and apparently the image of a butt plug is what caused the flag. I... I that seems to be the story. Sadly, the impression is spot on RGA. I'm damp. What? Am I reading that right? <laughs> but yes, uh, I played as Axel the first time. So I'm going to play as Blaze now. So... The whole idea is to play it with everyone and to get acclimated to everyone's style. So that is what I will be doing. Um, you know, I, I just don't like the modern scheme. The modern scheme to me seems to be not beneficial. I just, I, I can't, I can't program after playing this Streets of Rage since like 1991. I can't program myself to play it with a modern scheme, so I need to switch it back to the legacy mode. Um, it's the only way it'll work for me. Bless the hearts of new people who can do that and get into the new stuff, but... I just can't. I've I've played old school. Ah, yes, yes, Paul. You're right. You're right. You're right. Make fun of myself and my hatred for social media. <laughs> Replace the D's. Seems like you are GA. Yes, yes. All right. So, Paul, you're in for a treat. I'm in for a treat. I'm going to see how hot Blaze in it is in motion. So, you'll notice that the title screen when they released the trailers. They were kind of doing silhouettes for everyone. They were revealing everyone one at a time. Initially, it was just Blaze and Axel. Then they released Cherry. Cherry Hunter. Then they released Adam Hunter. But you know, Cherry, then Floyd, Iridian, Ir 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 then Adam. And then when the game came out, they released everyone else. The Y-Twins, um, Shiva, Max on the bottom left. And uh, what's the blonde girl on the top right? El Elsa? Eliza? I forget her name. So I'd be curious to see if they come out as DLC later. Alright, Buster, do what you gotta do, my man. Um, you know what? Let me just put this on the Discord, just in case. Anybody's that bored, such as yourself, Paul, if you're that bored that you're watching me. So I have I have thoughts about this game after having beaten it once. I enjoyed it, 
but I do have my criticisms. Um, and I do feel that the game needs quite a bit of tweaking to get to that next level to bring it up to the Streets of Rage status quo. Also good news, I plan on making some art of a character in this game. Oh boy, Buster, if I know what your art entails, I can only assume it would be a blaze. Or cherry. But, uh... Surprise me, maybe it's somebody else. Alright. Uh, save slots. I'm gonna do normal. Again, normal, I, I can upgrade to hard and all that later on, but my thing is to try to find out in a neutral stance how everyone plays differently from each other, what their strengths, weaknesses are relative to each other. And I feel that normal is the best way to go about doing that. So initially, when you play this game, you only get to play as Axel, Blaze, Cherry, and Floyd. Midway through the game, you unlock Adam. And then as I beat it with Axel, I got to unlock Streets of Rage 1 Axel. Now you also get to do Streets of Rage 2 version, Streets of Rage 3 version of each of the uh, original characters. So Axel, Blaze, Skate, uh, Adam, Max, Dr. Zan. So I don't know exactly what the requirements are to unlock them. I'm assuming you have to beat the game with everybody, but I could be wrong. Please, I don't know what they look like. Sure, Buster, sure thing, buddy. There's Blaze, look at her. So I heard one of the criticisms, and this is the criticism I had when I was watching the trailers. Her voice. Her voice is way too high-pitched to be Blaze. Um, she sounds way too young for how old she should be in this game. So, let's see. Okay, so her voice didn't sound that bad there. That sounded bad. Oh, they say different lines. Okay. Alright. Well, apparently in the actual game, she sounds really high-pitched. I honestly didn't focus on Blaze until now, but I am drawing someone different. It's gotta be the girl with the guitar then, Cherry. Who else would you be drawing? I wonder if the, and you know what? I didn't even realize I need to turn on the light. Um, don't realize how if the cutscenes change any with the characters that you play as. I'm, I'm don't know. Okay, so I'm gonna keep that tip in mind. You mentioned Buster with the. Oh God, yeah, her voice is really high pitched. Okay, her sweep is her rear attack. Neutral kick, jumping kick, downward strike. All right. Don't want to do my specials because that'll drain my health. So her combo potential is much higher than Axel already, right off the gate. 
55 hits. Okay. Just gotta worry about the arc for her move. Okay. She has a, a dashing attack with the knife. Oh, she has a combo with the knife. Okay. Combo ability is much greater. I don't know why the air recovery is not working. There it is. All right. Oh, shit. <laughs> Forgot about that. So I need to get used to the habit of holding up and see every time I get knocked, because then I'll recover. A lot of, a lot of reprogramming that I need to get used to. It's tough. It's when you're so used to one thing. Right. 
I didn't really get hurt by him, so that's good. Not really a fan of melee weapons. I'm gonna try to not use them. Don't really need them. Alright, so now with her, I need to keep the invincibility frames in mind. She has super armor. Like there. Like there, I need to watch out. That's where she has super armor, when she flashes. Juggle them forever. corner trap and try to juggle her repeatedly all right what made you think I draw blades well I don't know buster because you draw adult things <laughs> was the first thing that came to mind okay so it looks like I unlocked something else There's a Ridge 1 Adam. All right. I dig it. All right. So, you remember when I played as Axel? I died once or twice playing her. So, now that I'm starting to understand the mechanics of this game a bit more, it's becoming more manageable. What is this boss's name? Ugh, man, I didn't even look at her name, to be honest. I don't recall. Sorry. Diva. That's her name, Diva. Alright, so these are the same cutscenes, it seems. I thought there might be something different. So 
for Chinatown. Looks like uh, that'll be Shiva. And then this is where I fight the cops. So this is where the first arcade machine is, where I got that uh, that Easter egg. So I need to get a hand of it on a taser. is getting a little higher. Alright, so this is the guy with the taser. Oh, shit. There's no other taser. God damn it. Do you really only get one try for the taser? Oh, that sucks. Well, the other people can use it, though. I guess I can't go back to it. That's a fucking shame. Alright, so when I beat the game, I'll have to try level select. And, uh, try to hang on to that taser. That sucks. You only get one chance to use it. But, but that's dumb, because the other enemies can, uh, can use it. So these guys, I need to hit them and then jump. So I just need to time it. That sucks about the taser, though, man. Wow. That was an Easter egg, too. Pretty lame. All right, well, I will say Blaze is better to play than Axel. There's no doubt about that.
Alright, so much, much better with the mechanic so far. See, these guys used to be a pain, but now, I, now that I know how to time to avoid their attacks, their pushovers. Try to single them out one at a time. health. Alright, so it's not, not as bad anymore. They been playing all day off stream or what? Nah, this is my second time playing. It's just that now that I know what I was making a mistake of as Axel, um, I'm doing much better now. Because now I'm realizing that the, the patterns for the AI here are, um, they're starting to become clear. And Blaze is much faster. Her combo ability is much better than Al Axel. Alright, so this guy, I gotta watch out for when he flashes white. Because that means he's about to do a throw. That's fine. I'll do my hit to break out of theirs. Boom, boom. Continue the combo. Get out of the way. Rinse and repeat. Hit me, get hit. Get the turkey. charge. That's usually my way to ticket. Oh, nope. I'm going to do a grab. So when he flashes red, that means he's about to do a throw. When he flashes white, that means he has super armor. So it's just little cues now that you got to keep... Uh, you just gotta keep in mind. She does. So far, she seems to shit all over Axel, yeah. Just her combo ability um, and her specials seem to be better. And also, you notice that I'm recovering. So, the thing is, the Streets of Rage 1, 2, 3, the golden rule was whenever somebody throws you, you hold up and jump and you land on your feet. The way this game works now, Anytime you're juggled in the air or staggered off the ground, you hold up and B, you will recover. So that changes a lot. So that makes me recover quicker and it lets me counter quicker. Yeah. 
And you'll notice that her juggling abilities are so much more than Axel. So, higher combos means higher score. Higher score means more shit to unlock. So I actually unlocked uh, Streets of Rage 1 Adam so far on this playthrough. But it sucks because I missed out on the secret. I found out that there's arcade cabinets in the game. And if you put a taser on them, it'll bring you to like a hidden boss fight from the old games. But in the second level, there's one taser and the enemies kept using it and they wore it out. So I wasn't able to use it. I got bucked. So I'll have to try to do level select and continue. That sucks. I would I would have liked to have seen that, but hopefully I can see it again. I blow up like an idiot. guys and watch out for his his tell which is the triple jump Boom. Just little things I'm, I'm grasping now that it makes it a lot easier. Yeah, the hidden stuff. Uh, I'll if I beat the game. Well, I, I'm sure I will. Um, I could do level select and try it out. So now this fucker is going to be a little bit annoying, but that's all right. So I just have to use my invincibility frames dodge that fire that he threw at me. So yeah, this is going by a lot easier than it was with Axel. Notice how I'm flashing white when I land. That's because I'm doing the uh, air recovery. So um, I still haven't mastered the timing for it yet, but I'll, I'll get there.
All right, so here's the whip. So I need to. These guys get super armor, which is fine. And grabbing them is going to be the easiest way to counter them. I want to try to kill them before she gets to them. And ideally, I want to try to throw her I want to get these first. Continue the combo. Because I get scores by picking up the health. There we go. So the problem I was having with Axel was I didn't realize that when she whips the guys, she was giving them super armor. Oh, look, my first A. So now that I know that, I obviously want to prioritize grabbing them when they have super armors. That's really the only way to stop them from, you know, just breaking out. Throwing them, continuing that combo, throw them into other people, juggle, juggle, hit, hit, rinse and repeat, get her. And it just became easier. Although playing like a pro now. <laughs> it just takes it just takes some observation just from knowing what mistakes I made with Axel. Now I'm capitalizing and I'm not capitalizing, but learning from my mistakes. My first A. Look at that. See, initially when I was playing as Axel, I thought it, it felt so much harder. But now that I'm slowly understanding what the game, how it wants me to play, I'm trying to play ball. Again, invincibility frames. There we go. So I'm playing with more confidence now. That's the, the key. Shit. He knocked me down, that son of a bitch. I didn't mean to do that. Whoops, that was a mistake. That was a slip of the fingers.
I don't mean to do that again. Damn it. That slipped. Oh well. I don't want to use star, but that'll give you a higher score. But Oh well. Alright, so these guys with tasers. So I was occupied with the taser. So I want to get the arcade machine. There we go. Oh shit, Zamza. Alright. His AI is different. It's not like it was in Streets of Rage 2. It's different, so I can't cheese him like I did. Oh, wow, you only get one chance? Wow. Okay. So I was trying to play him like Juice Rage 2. Mm, okay. Because normally with Juice Rage 2, when he gets knocked down, his program to wake up is to do a Shoryuken. And you saw me jumping back, because that's the loop. You can loop him into doing that. You avoid his hitbox, and then you can punish him. But he wasn't playing like that. Uh. That sucks. You only get one chance. All right. I'll just have to do better. Estelle, that's your name. Alright, so now I gotta watch out for her because she has a lot of these unblockables with her super armor.
I knew she was going to hit me, so I had to try to recover. Just gotta play a bit smarter is all. I gotta work at the pace the game wants me to play. All streets are one one characters unlocked, okay, so I got Blaze. used up all my stars. That was my fault. I realize that I need to use up all my specials while well, I can, or health, I should say. Again, I let that slip. Stupid. I shouldn't have. That was my fault. Visibility frames at the vaults. Let's do it again, but that's fine. There he goes.
All right. I wish I could have beaten Zamza. That's uh, it's gonna haunt me to the back of my mind. These are where the biker chicks are. It's all right, come at me. They're no longer as much of a annoyance as they were before. She's the stronger one. No matter. There's my man Rouge just drinking. <laughs> Rouge's got to be like DLC. There's no way they can tease him like that. All right, so I got to break all the bikes here. Here's Barbin. Here are the invincibility frames.
Damn, he got me. I didn't think he would. All right. That's a shame. I didn't think he'd get me, man. Damn. I would say Blaze's voice is a little too high pitched. It shouldn't be. Getting a life in a game just to lose it shortly after. Yeah, it's annoying, but it is what it is. I just wonder something came out of these little plates yesterday, but I guess maybe I'm wrong.
go. Get a slip on him. Yes, that's the what you heal. Well, I hit the explosive barrel as that cutscene played for the, the mid boss, and because it went to him, the damage didn't hit me. So, whew. thank you. See, that's his counter. So, the thing with him, grabbing him is fine. So I don't want to... kind of don't want to get him in any combos. Because he will counter. That's the thing. I don't want to... don't want to grab him. Instead of grabbing him, I'm punching him, which is annoying. So that's the key to beating him. I just need to get in close and grab. So I need to punch, he'll just counter it. Alright, so this is... This part was annoying with Axel. Because you got swarmed pretty easily. so many items here.
Tsushima. And again, Shiva with Axel was pretty easy. I just have to remember what he did exactly. I remember him not being too tough. Just need to get the turkey. See, you can't use the special to break out of attacks, which is a bit annoying. The old games, you could. So, that, like with Streets of Rage 1, 2, 3, or 2, 3, is as an enemy's comboing you, you could press A to do your defensive special, and it would break out of that combo. That doesn't exist here anymore. Which is a bit annoying. All right, this is the level where I got to keep avoiding the uh, the pillars. Invincibility frames. Crap, timed it too late. Crap. That's the problem. These guys with their unavoidable grabs. Which sucks. So you can't really be cornered by them. Now she gets the commissioner.
I can get her in the corner, that'd be great. Again, he's got super armor. Get you. Fuck you. Corner trap. Really? Not gonna get a good score for that. Just for using my stars. That's pretty lame. Alright, so this is the level with the butt plug. So let's see if the stream cuts off here. Getting them if you want. Get rid of these bitches first.
that I didn't grab the, uh, damn, I didn't grab the briefcase of money, shit. This is the butt plug right here. So you see it says shipping to Paris? <clears throat> That's an actual news story, I guess, with, uh, I don't know if it's some art, some, like, rogue art guy in, in Britain who placed a giant butt plug in the middle of, like, some city square. So this is probably what nuked the stream the first time. All right, two of these bitches now. right there. Fucking bitches. Flame lasts way too long. Way too long. Hey, Nurse Strategy, what's up? Taco, what's going on, my dude? How are you guys doing tonight? Alright, who do I unlock now? Streets of Rage 2 characters? Oh, Max. <laughs> oh, oh, boy. Oh, my favorite. Oh, man. Playing this with his mechanics would be something, something to behold. Be quite the uh, the playthrough. That was what's going on with you guys. Did I have you played Streets of Rage Four, or do you have any interest in playing Streets of Rage Four? Ah, yes, it was slippery floor. Okay.
I do. I'm just really busy, so I'm going to snag it at a convention sometime. Oh, well, there is no physical copy for it right now. The only physical copy is Limited Run, uh, Limited Run Games, which they had a sale for it yesterday, sold out, I believe, at least for the limited editions. It's possible that if you go to limitedrungames.com, you might find the normal edition for sale still, but they're the only people doing a physical copy that I'm aware of. Almost got cornered there. Hopefully there's a healing. There we go. All right, now this guy. I should not have died there. I keep trying to grab you, dude. Why are you punching? the elevator stage. I'm digging the art style to Rage 4. Might pick it play when it's like five bucks. I'm cheap as fuck. Oh boy. I mean it's only twenty four bucks, twenty five bucks. It's not it's not sixty. I'll check then when I get home. Taco not even ten dollars for this game. Nah it's been ten dollars on a UMD your priorities, while admirable, I would say are completely out of whack. But, gotta give credit for that UMD obsession you have. Bye. 
What? Now it's time to fight Max. I wonder if this could run on my Dell laptop. There's only two UMDs I want to snag this year, and that's Dragon Ball Evolution the game. And DBZ Tag Team going to be a complete DBZ collection, and I got four US games left. Man, that is... Why? <laughs> Why? Like Dragon Ball Evolution, I'm sure if you don't get that, no one will counter against you. It really won't. Although I'm curious as to know if any of those old school Street's Rage tips or tricks translate to Street Number Four, and overall, how's the game so far? Yes and no. Uh, so, not really, because they changed the combo system completely. It's not like it was in the old games where you can just like hit stun like infinite combos, like one, 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 one. If you do that now, it's like one, two, three, four, five, they'll get knocked over. So it prevents you from doing that. Um, it relies on you like knocking people to the edge of the screen where they'll bounce back and then you one, one, one special, they'll bounce back one, one, one special, but it, it still doesn't last forever either. So it's, it's a different beast. All right. Max has super armor the entire time. Get out of the way. I can't grab him. You gotta watch out. You gotta break out. Get out of the way. This is probably the only thing that can knock him in the air. Well, I just got to be patient with him. Crap, top kick. Get out of the way. So one of the fundamentals with Streets of Rage 2, 3, and 1 is when an enemy throws you, you hold up and jump, and you'll land on your feet. Now in this game, um, you can do that, but it also applies to when you get juggled or any time you're knocked out of your feet. So it's like a quick recovery. You hold up and jump, you'll blink white, you'll flash white, and that indicates you did it right. So there's a lot of like different things that they added and it's kind of hard for me to translate because again, my mind has been wired for, uh, you know, for over 20 years to play Streets of Rage a certain way. So this is different. Yeah, but it's like a $10 game. Unfortunately, if I snag that one, then I can tell the trolls that I have it. And well, because Dragon Ball is the name, 
I'm adding to it. Yeah, but Dragon Ball Evolution is fucking garbage, dude. It's terrible. It's like having a Street Fighter movie game. It sucks, but no. Street Fighter, the movie video game, was actually decent. This is just garbage. Like, the, uh, the movie itself is trash, and the game based on that shitty movie is even more of an affront. But, if you want to get it, by all means, you do, you nerd. Um, I, my only hope is that you don't spend over 10 bucks for it. Or like Final Health and Fantasy fans, except for Paul, don't like 13 for Mystic Quest. Yeah, Paul is, uh, Paul is what you would call a contrarian. So if there's something that everyone loves, he'll hate it. And if there's something that everyone hates, he'll love it. That's his, uh, modus operandi. Oh, look at his boxers. His boxers are like way too low. control scheme is that it becomes that much harder to grab weapons and items. So he likes the Avatar Airbender movie. He probably never heard of it, but if you tell him that everyone hates the movie, he'll be like, oh, all right, it's good. If he ever watches it, which is doubtful because it's a movie. See, normally in Streets of Rage, I'd be able to break out of his kicks. But here, because of the mechanics, these special moves are no longer what they used to be. So now the game rewards... See, normally, I'd be able to break out of their things, but it won't allow me to anymore. Which is a bit of annoyance, because it used to be an assurance, the old games, that you could do that.
crap. Son of a bitch, man. See, a lot of attacks become a lot harder to avoid. Which is annoying. Because you don't have any type of evasive special. Which is very annoying. See, he doesn't have any wind-up on that room either, which is annoying. Alright, I need to grab that apple. See what you guys are saying, sorry. Nah, if, I, if he says that, he loses all his YouTube subs. <laughs> That'd be funny. Check Discord. That movie, Last Airbender, was an insult to the series and should be buried ET style. I never got into the cartoon, so I, I never saw the movie either, so I'm totally indifferent. But it would be funny that if I were to watch the movie with no tether to the cartoon, and I enjoy it, that'd be hilarious. Because I have nothing to base it on. Alright, here we go. The boss battle. Now, he was pretty easy. I remember him being pretty easy. Just need to hit him from behind. Then he charges back up. Whatever. Follow him to the other side of the screen. As you stay on this side of the screen, it can't really hurt you. So, just jump over. And stay, stay to the other side. Don't let him hurt you. There you go. Just gotta keep attacking him from the from behind. It's no big deal. The bad part is that the person who made the movie didn't bother watching the show at all. Yes, that apparently is the story that M. Night Shyamalan decided to do the movie because his nephew was a fan, and he decided to make the movie for him, but yeah, I believe uh, he did not do his due research.
All right, other elevator stage. Got nowhere to go. Oh, that was it. Damn. I was going to be able to take the turkey. Fuck. Single these guys out. So once they're on their own, they're not so bad. One on one, they're, they're pushovers. singled him out because he's the worst. Now singled her out. Process of elimination. Now I can focus on him. sure to move to the right because the floor collapses. Shit.
get out of here. Right, there was a star move that came out here. I remember that. So this should be Mr. Y. And he's not that bad. I remember with Axel. out as a rocket launcher. This is where he starts shooting his rocket launcher. Alright. Again. Nothing crazy. It's kind of a pushover. On the whole, I'm getting better rankings than I did with Axel. Because with Axel, it's pretty much just C's. I'm getting B's. I got one A. So, not bad. Alright, final stage. Ah, yes, you start up with no health. Forgot about this. I didn't mean to do that. Shit.
forget if I fight Estelle one more time. No, she's a good guy now, I think. One more hit. Give me an apple, please. Turkey, even better. Your city is still on lockdown? Oh, absolutely, yeah. Connecticut is, uh, we are on lockdown until, I think, at the earliest, May 20th is when they're thinking of doing, like, gradual openings of the most essential things, but, um, I was reading that the confirmed cases in Connecticut was, was, uh, spiked up again, so... I was hoping to was hoping to dodge that with the throw. Fuck with me. Oh, you got Mr. X from uh, Streets of Rage 2 over there.
Let them kill each other. this health because you don't need it. But whatever. Four lives, alright. So here we go, final final battle. Actually, no, Miss Y first. Yeah, she's pretty easy. I don't really need to worry about her. Easy dodge. She's just a little fast, but that's fine. sworn you could break the chair. Guess not. Alright, now is the final boss. I gotta fight them both together. And then the robot. So I do want to get rid of him first. He is the most annoying one. going to go on the machine. Top left is safe for the most part.
We'll grab the apple. Alright, time to grab the turkey. Right, he's dead. the end that's a crazy looking boss man crazy looking but different yeah it's just a pattern though I, I found when I played yesterday the top right seemed to be the safest spot so play it safe you know no point in risking it especially when you don't have to all right so that is Juice Rich 4 with Blaze. How about that? No game overs, no continues. Um, but I, what I want to, what I do want to do is I want to go back to level select. I want to try the arcade trick um, in the prison. See if I can beat uh, Samsa. No, no, I want to try the uh, battle against. Zom's on Streets of Rage 2, because I failed the first time, so I'm going to level select and do that. I would love to test out Max, I would, trust me. Or, you know what, maybe I can I can do the level select with him and test it out. Yeah, 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 you're right. Okay, cool. That's what I will do. Because I, I would imagine, because the retro characters don't have the combo ability with the juggles they're probably compensating by giving them a lot more damage especially Max he should be destroying these guys like in one throw so we'll see you in a, in a minute <laughs> alright so I think I only died like twice Maybe if you guys were taking score, you could take more uh, accurate count. But it was like two or three times max. As opposed to with the Axel, I died like five or maybe six times. So Blaze is definitely a lot better. Without a doubt. <laughs> but now I'm curious to see how Streets of Rage 2 Axel would play. Because with his Grand Upper, because in 2... 
It was so powerful. Did they keep it powerful or did they nerf it? A lot of things to try out. But overall, I feel I did it much better this time with Blaze than I do with Axel. Now that I am getting a feel for the mechanics. Because if I can grab Samsa with Max and just do the elbow hits, that'll like take him out. Very, and I can do the slide too, so. Estelle, that's her name, Estelle. She has to be DLC at some point. There's no way. Axel is a cis while male. That's why he's the worst character. Cis white male. <laughs> yeah, he was just weak overall. And I doubt this guy, Floyd, is any... I doubt he can hold a, a, a stick to Max, because Max is a demon. <laughs> if you've seen me play as Max, you know he's a demon. And, you know, I'm still learning with Max, too. <laughs> but he's an absolute unit. It is funny how the game just abruptly ends, though. There's no, like, cutscene. And there's cutscenes for every stage. And then here it just goes right to credits. <laughs> you figured they'd throw in some dialogue, but I guess not. Max was my go-to as a kid. He's an absolute... See, for me as a kid, it was Axel. Always Axel. Teresa Rage 1, it was Adam. Teresa Rage 2, Axel. Teresa Rage 3 was, was Axel. Ooh, A. All right. Cool. But then as I got older, I started to realize that Teresa Rage 1 is all about Blaze because... She's the fastest, and her combo ability to hit stun is so good, and her suplexes are crazy. She's Rage 2, obviously Max. Um, but Blaze 2, Blaze is a beast in 2. Because she can get people in uh, suplex loops. Cool. She's Rage 2, Axel unlocked. Alright. Stage select. Police precinct, yep. And axe. Oh look, that's cool. The so the the art. If you look at the art, so it's actually the Japanese cover art for Streets of Rage One for Blaze, Adam, and Axel. So that's the Japanese art, the box art. And then this is the Japanese box art for Bare Knuckle Two. That's pretty cool. Nice little detail, I'll, I'll give them that. Anda! Alright, did they keep all the sound effects? <clears throat> Will he say, Oria, when you jump kick? Will he do, with a suplex, will he go, eh? These are things I need to know. Alright. Alright. Oh, they changed the sound effects. It's not her. <laughs> Look at that damage. Ooh. All right. I like what I see. Oh. 
Oh. <laughs> now his combo is pretty much non existent. But his damage output is crazy. Alright, let's see how much damage this does. <laughs> oh, jeez, uh, I took that health. Jeez. Oh yeah, he's doing damage, baby. Alright, so let me hit the arcade. He does, I, yeah, because I was getting hit by those tasers and dying quick. Most Rooster Rage 4 is available for pre-order till the 10th. And if you own an Xbox One, you get it for free with Game Pass. Yes, uh, it is available for Game Pass. Alright, Samsa. Oh, Jack. Oh, shit. I mean, Jack is a joke. So it's just, uh, just boss battles. Okay. Okay. Do you get like a, a point? Uh, like bonus? I don't know. Oh, Max is a fucking beast. I don't remember what level that was at. I don't remember what level. You could look it up. Well, I'll see you later, dude. Have a good night. Yeah, there's strategy. Take it easy, dude. The game is out, obviously, because I'm playing it. <laughs> I think he's just saying pre-order pricing, maybe. That's probably what he's, what he's getting at. But I, I want to beat the stage because I don't know if by doing the arcade, does it give me an unlock at the very end? I don't know. I have, to, I have to find out. Out of here, buddy. Oh, oh. 
Oh boy. I love the damage. I love the damage. Oh, this is great. Oh. Woo. Fuck out of here with your bullshit. You're just doing godlike damage from the start. That's great. That is really great. So the jump hitbox give you invincibility against the batons. Which is great. Boom. Boom. Oh, Max is, Max is the greatest fucking thing ever, Jesus Christ. It's fucking melee bullshit out of here. Because Max does not need that. Maybe look it up if you can find the arcade locations. I'll, uh, I'll level select after. Alright, so now that I can grab him, he's going to be a pushover. Oh shit, whoops. He broke out, see? That's the one thing, it's like they can break out of... Like, because in Streets of Rage 2, that spinning knuckle is the defensibility frames all day. Here, it doesn't work. That makes no sense. What's up, man? It's been a while since I logged on. What's up, Mr. Sleepy? What's going on, dude? All right, um... So, Ernie, what did you say? Stages with the boss is... 
Yeah, I just, I just did. So level two, stage four, level three, stage five. Okay, so level three cargo ship. Stage four, the old pier. Is that what you're saying? Stage four? Is the next one with Zamsa? What's the other one then? I didn't even see the other one. The second number is the level. The guide was stupid. Okay, so level four. All right. Max it is. Or do I do Axel? Who do I do? Streets Rage to Axel or Max? What do you say? Streets Rage to Axel or Max? Try Axel? All right. Let's see how the Grand Opera plays. Why did they change the uh, sound effect for Max when he does a suplex? Because he goes, Oria, which is his jumping sound, but in the actual game it's supposed to be, huh? They fucked that up, dude. Such a simple thing. Oh, he's so much better now. Oh, hell yeah. Well, I can fuck with this. Shit. Alright. So, the Grand Upper is no longer safe, though. Enemies can break out of it. Which is dumb. Why did they change that? All right, the tasers around here somewhere. The arcade machine's right there. So there's the, the cops. The cops, that's what it is. This is why guides need to be checked. <laughs> what? That's bullshit. Oh my god, what the fuck? Oh my god. So it doesn't do as much damage as it should, really. Shit.
you know what? Let me not risk blowing up that taser. All right. Yeah, his AI is totally different here. It's not like it is in, in uh, Streets 2. So you can't abuse him like you could in Streets 2. They changed him. Oh my god, Jesus. Here we go. Is there extra life? No. How did I not recover from that? Come on. I don't understand how sometimes the recovers don't work in this game. Well, how how is uh, all that for a star? <laughs> yeah, I, I thought it'd be like a big score bonus or something, but I guess not. See, normally it's Street Street 2, you could just press A to break out of that, but it won't let you. Oh my god, fucking A. Are you serious? Jesus Christ. Alright, well, she does go down quicker, but Axel's just very slow to go against her. Do the level 5 one next. It's one of my favorite Street 2 bosses. Then it's got to be what the boxer, our bear, level five. You said, All right, uh, we'll try with Max again. 
Soldier Grounds. All right. Where is the thing here? There's wind up. So it's a cue as to, to avoid it. Why did the atomic drop not work? In the biker bar? Okay. Oh my god, Max really has no defense against that. Oh my god, man. See, the priorities are out of whack. Donovan's can uppercut you. It's ridiculous. That, that. is the garbage. I can't avoid those drop kicks. That's a pain in the ass. Oh man, those are some of the things are frustrating. We are upgraded Donovan's. More like manlets. Well, so you think about the the Donovan's, the anti-air uppercut is usually like a one in, oh Jesus, whatever chance. And here, they seem to do it no matter what. Right, this fucker should be not a problem. out of here with that. The green pants Donovans are called Atlets. Huh. That's what they're called. Is that the name that was on them? I didn't even notice, to be honest. Alright, so where is the taser here?
Ugh. Stop backing away, bitch. The slide doesn't even... Oh my god. The slide is supposed to do splash damage and it doesn't. What the hell? Alright, there's the taser. Jesus Christ. He just had me in a loop. Alright. I can't break the machine. His AI is going to be totally different now. Son of a bitch. Because now I'm not going to be able to fight him the way I was before. And you can't grab him because he powers out. Fuck. I don't know if I'm going to beat him with Max. I need Axel for this. Unless I just cheese with the slide. See, he won't let me. But maybe I can work around this. We'll see. Does he power out like he does in two? It doesn't seem like he does. So yeah, he doesn't play like he does. They changed it. Just abused the AI. That's all. Huh. Ultimate warrior time. Yeah, he was a pushover. So why'd they change the AI, though? That's, that's dumb. Oh, shit, let me get the money. So this is what the the whip chick, right? Yeah, so she actually should be easy. Oh no, Barbin. Okay. Well if I can grab him.
you can't power through it, Max. Come on. He didn't even have time to call out his, his enforcements. Those whooping him so bad. Ah, there we go. So it must be Streets of Rage 3 Blaze. Or Streets of Rage 2 Blaze. Yep. Okay. Was that the last one? Or was that the last one? That's three. That kind of sucks, though. You don't you don't get anything else for doing that. That's kind of lame. Max, best character. <laughs> he really is. He really is. But <clears throat> it's just unfortunate that they nerfed him in regards to his priorities. Because usually in Streets of Rage 2, you're spinning back this. That was your saving grace. Because that move had invincibility frames. So what would happen is, like, let's say you get crowded and people start jabbing you. You can break out of that by hitting A. You do your spinning back this. But here, it doesn't work you're going to get stunned out of it or you can't even pull it off because if you're getting in the middle of getting hit, the hit stun won't let you do the offensive uh, or the defensive uh, special, which really sucks. No, one more stage. Stage eight. The art gallery. Okay. Uh, who do I, who do I pick? I don't, I don't have faith with Blaze. Um, Streets Rage 2, I don't have faith with her doing too well. So do I pick Axel or Max? Or do I try Blaze, but I, I don't think it'll go over very well. Because the problem with Streets Rage 2, Blaze, and it works fine in Streets Rage 2, is her special the arc is way too high. They changed it here where it's much lower. I don't, I don't think it'll work very well here. Especially with the enemies who have priority. But, uh, who do I pick? You pick. I mean, if I'm going to pick, I'm going to pick Max, because let's be serious now. Never say no to Max. All right. So, I like this song too. I like that Game Boy sound. All right, these bitches. Luckily, I can do that. He is called Atlet. How about that? What? See, like, the hitboxes are fucked.
Why is the air recovery not working for that? I don't understand how Don uh, the signals can throw me and I don't recover from that. Very strange. Alright, where's the taser here? Hurt yourself, by all means. Dumbass. How did that hurt me? All right, where is this taser? I think the music overall was kind of a letdown. Um, it doesn't really like grab your attention, yeah. Not like one and two did. See, there's an arcade machine there, but where's the taser? Where the fuck was the taser? Oh, there it is. Okay. Gotta be Mr. X, right? Yep. Or Shiva. Oh, shit. It's a whole battle. Streets of Rage 2 sprites. Yeah, see, they changed the AI. Oh, fuck. Shiva? Fuck. If I can cheese him with the atomic drop. Oh my god, you only get one chance, one life. What the fuck? Wow, you only get one chance. Are you telling me you have to be Shiva and Mr. X? Wow. That's bullshit because your uh, your specials take your health no matter what. And the whole point in Streets of Rage 2 is that as long as you don't hit anyone, the uh, the special move won't hurt you. Wow. Mr. X, really? You, that's 
fuck, how the hell do you even do that? So you have thugs, then you have Shiva. See, with Axel, maybe, as long as you spam Grand Upper, but the problem is, again, this Streets of Rage 2 Axel does not have the invincibility frames that he had in Streets of Rage 2. So Shiva could theoretically just break out of it if he wanted to, because what happens with Shiva is if you hit him too much, he'll do the spinning fire kick to break out. Wow, that's bullshit. I don't think I could do it, man. Damn. And their their health bars are that much? Fuck. Damn it, it's three it's three thirty already. Uh That's pretty deep in level two, man. Fuck. It's all right. It's three thirty. Yeah. I'll have to see how people can do it and with who, because that seems like it's, especially with the mechanics of Streets of Rage four. If it was the Streets of Rage two mechanics like flat, then of course I could do it, but it's not. Hmm. I'll try it another day. But anyways, uh, there's that. At least I got three out of four. All right. Well, I think I'm starting to enjoy the game a little bit more. Um, but yeah, that that last... Fuck that. Damn, Shiva and Mr. X back-to-back -back with one life? That's dumb. Like, wh why doesn't it let you just use the lives you have? That's just, that's dumb. All right, well, anyways, maybe I'll try again tomorrow. But uh, anyways, to anyone who's watching, thank you for hanging out. Have a good night, Ernie. Maybe I'll try again tomorrow. Because um, I do need to play with the other characters like Cherry and, and Floyd. So, it was a lot easier this time with Blaze. No doubt about that. Anyways, thank you for chilling, for hanging out, and YouTube didn't shut it down, so there's that. So I will catch you all later, right? Stay home. Stay indoors. Peace.